CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, revealed that Deacon didn't believe Sheila was dead, so he searched through Sheila's remains for evidence. If Sheila had been planning to fake her death all along, she must have been prepared. Sheila must have brought something of herself with her when she fled, but it seemed nothing unusual as Sheila did not bring any suspicious items. She left everything behind, including her laptop. That made Deacon doubt his own speculation. Is she really dead? Is everything just Deacon's imagination? If she's still alive, there must be some clue. Deacon would focus on the laptop and would check Sheila's folders and emails, but nothing. This is Sheila's personal laptop, and she also uses it often. Deacon thinks that if Sheila had prepared in advance for her death, she might have saved the information. But there was nothing unusual about Sheila's computer and email. When he checked his social media messages, he saw that Sheila was texting someone named Sugar and wanted that person to come to Los Angeles to make a deal. Perhaps this is the most important clue that Deacon's looking for. Was Sugar the one who died instead of Sheila? Deacon will run into Lauren at El Gardino. He knew Lauren and Sheila had been enemies in Genoa, so the two had such a bad conflict they couldn't face each other. It was after Lauren heard that Sheila had died, she went to Los Angeles. Lauren felt very relieved that she wouldn't have to face Sheila again in the future. As enemies, Deacon thinks Lauren understands Sheila very well. Deacon will ask Lauren who Sugar is. Lauren said that Sugar was a crazy woman who was tricked by Sheila into having plastic surgery to look like her. If so, then it's very possible the body was cremated was Sugar's, not Sheila's. Deacon finally understood everything. Sheila's social media messages helped Deacon answer all his questions. Sugar was the same appearance as Sheila, so Sheila took the advantage of this. He knows that Sheila called Sugar to Los Angeles to sacrifice her life. Because Sugar had plastic surgery, she was the same face as Sheila. That's why the police and Steffi couldn't tell the difference and assumed Sheila was dead. Maybe Sheila's living as Sugar in Genoa. Sheila's not dead yet, so Deacon will board the plane to Genoa to find her. Deacon had a lot of questions he wants to question Sheila about. Did Sheila fake her death just to have a peaceful life?